Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the Official Art Podcast number 225. My name is Coach Mistletoad, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Mr. Atlas. Please take it away, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Coach Mistletoad. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the ARC Daily Podcast. This is Tuesday, June 13th. We are here, gathered again together, for another amazing podcast. Fantastic day, a little bit of low volume happening. Check in here, uh, the stats. Let's go ahead and uh, pull everything up. Hope you're all doing well, calm, cool, and collected. Enjoying the new dynamic range that we're all here experiencing. Balance all around. We are uh, noticing that the volume is a bit low today. Kind of quiet. We have uh, 21,000 volume and even 50-50 pretty much between the buys and the sells. Price holding steady. We're also uh, seeing our MVP for the day. They've had one transaction. Others had one referral. And again, a bit low compared to what we've been seeing the past couple of days. $566.81 was uh, their contribution into the system today. Maybe it's a new wallet. Maybe it's a new investor they've brought in. But overall, we're seeing what we want to see. There's going to be days of low volume. There's going to be days of high volume. We want it to be balanced. ILC is really, really kicking into the high gear to ensure that we take advantage of the 130,000 ARCFI tokens that were taken out of the system from the wallets and put into the ARC vault, that virtual burn afforded us a lot of room here as we're getting ready so close to launch our on and off ramps did some further testing today folks on the air card we're trying out china but china is using their own payment systems they are uh, primarily using wechat and alipay and it's kind of interesting I think something we can all relate to or using the blockchain, uh, the way that it works if you're, say, in a taxi. You're going to see a QR code and you're going to get your phone. You're going to scan that QR code and that's how you make the payment. But they also have it down to a level. It's not in taxis, but it is in stores and restaurants. Don't get scared now, but <laughs> you put your hand over a scanner that's the way you pay. Pretty uh, interesting tech. Not a big fan of, of using your face or your hand to pay for anything, but we understand that's the way uh, everything is headed. So we weren't able to use those systems for Visa, MasterCard, or do further research because they, they do have to have a way for tourists or folks that are over there doing business to use their uh, Visa MasterCards. Ideally, uh, we're testing out the uh, wallets for Samsung or the Google wallet, as well as the Apple Pay. Uh, everywhere else, it seems to be working quite fantastic. Russia, we tried uh, over the weekend. No dice. Uh, they are only using their internal uh, banks. They're not using international because of the sanctions, as we all. However, both Chinese and Russian investors will be able to get their cards and use them. I'm sure if we can find a way, maybe through the physical card that gets shipped out, whether that's the physical version of the air card or the physical tarot card, they should be able to go ahead and swipe that or, or use an NFC to pay for it. So we'll keep you up to date on how that all develops because we want to ensure that when we go out and advertise, spend dollars that we're uh, 
spending them wisely in the areas where you know that we can really make a big difference. So we will keep you updated uh, with that. We want to test the Terra card over into China, ATMs. Make sure everything's working perfect because it is a absolutely massive, massive market. So uh, let's take a look at some further statistics here, folks. All right, the total ARK Vault accounts are 5,449. Liquidity on PancakeSwap, very steady, 191,385 BUSD. IOC reserves, a bit lower today, 295,878 BUSD. The price of ARK holding steady like a stable coin almost at $1. I mean, what a fantastic way. Bring your dollars over, earn 2%. It is a fantastic offering, one that we've enjoyed. So many of us have uh, had the great opportunity to um, enjoy what it is, a dynamic range here, almost six months in our last one. So we're going to hold the line here, bring the investors, bring the buys, do the Zoom presentations, offer our products, and educate them on how they can earn passive income every single day. The Spark Prize Pool is 713.10 ARC. And that, folks, is a street value of $713.10. This is becoming easy, very easy um, at, the, at this range. Of course, we are going to really want to rally as we grow uh, in the number of investors in the vault, in the legacy NFTs, in the uh, LSA, as well as the foundation. Where we want to uh, ideally do a comeback and uh, not only reach, but at some point even surpass our five, it was a $5.71, pretty pretty much the dynamic range was, was up and down around there. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Brent Nordin. We've been very, very busy, but let's hear, hear from him uh, if he wants to uh, share anything with us. Yeah, absolutely. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Awesome. Yeah, we're real close on the uh, the on ramp. I know you've been keeping up on that as well, but just a few little tweaks we're going through with the fine tooth comb. You know, all of the, the all of the content on the the landing page and all of the different process flows and making sure everything's running very smoothly. Um, so we're very very close on the on ramp. Um, and then, as you mentioned, you know, in the testing phase of of the off ramp. Uh, so I'm I'm hoping you know this week on ramp. Um, we're getting ready to do the announcement banners and, and all of that good stuff. We just need to make sure we button everything up and, you know, prop, properly finish testing on our end uh, before we push it out to the public. And then it's going to be it's going to be a wild ride, I think, um, just based on where everything is here in the U.S. as far as buying crypto. And we see the, the writing on the wall probably for Coinbase now, which is tough to watch, but i um, sure there's going to be some tightening there. Uh, maybe some big changes uh, at their executive level and other things that kind of wash out of, of all of this SEC uh, debacle. But um, yeah, we're going to be here and we're going to be, you know, maneuvering as much as we can. And we need to all be setting our expectations that, you know, there could be some changes along the way. We don't know if uh, all of these uh, banks and issuers are going to, you know, be able to uh, withstand the, the weather, but um we have, you know, alternates and we can maneuver and we, um, we have our, our, uh, our intentions are to be able to provide this service for a very, very long time. And we're positioning ourselves with our relationships and our, um, you know, our, our regulatory entity that we had to work through uh, to be able to, um, you know, offer these solutions for, for the long run and, uh, and go where we need to go in order to be able to avoid you know, these uh, interruptions of service that we're seeing here, like in the U.S. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very optimistic. And I think that this solution, you know, albeit may not work for everyone in the world, will work for a large majority. And uh, that's really what we're trying to do is get as many people into crypto as possible, make it a ton easier to on-ramp people into ArcFi, uh, let them see what we have to offer uh, through the Zoom presentations, and then funnel them into uh, the ROI DAP and the other aspects of the ecosystem. Um, I also did notice there was some more uh, legacy NFTs minted, which is exciting to see the LSA is really working well. 
Uh, we're holding that vault balance of our five tokens. Um, we have a nice treasury of those that we're going to be using for promotions. So yeah, everything's looking great. And um, we'll be making some announcements here. I, I, I think probably tomorrow uh, we'll have some firm from, you know, firm launch dates set and maybe even some announcements that we're ready to, to give regarding the, uh, the on-ramp. So yeah, that's about it for me. Um, lots of progress and, and things happening. So uh, thanks everyone for your patience and we're real, real close. All right. Yes, we are. Thank you for that uh, update. And I have something here we can, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and, and show, give a little bit of a, of a quick teaser as to uh, how uh, things are coming along. This is uh, actually for the, that for the uh, air card. Yeah, let's go ahead and mm -hmm. drop that in here, set it up real quick. I was wondering if you were going to show that today. <laughs> I've been so busy, I actually just saw it now. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, this is the first time I got to take a look at it. Uh, Alex is telling me about it. So um, one quick second, folks. Let's drop it in. And uh, it's a little bit out of frame. Hold on. I can make this visible in a uh, easier format. Thanks for your patience. That looks pretty good. Let's let it play out. It's not completely finished, but you get a idea. Let's give it one more try now that it's, it is centered on the screen. chains we're going to support to yeah and what you're seeing there is um the kind of the decision that you make when you come to the cards page which is our new off-ramp page um you can select the air card or the tarot card um, right now the tarot card isn't completely built out yet but the uh the air card's almost there and uh, when you select that you then they'll go through the um the loading of the card process, which he, what he was kind of showing there, the initial screens for that. So, yeah, it's a, the look and feels uh, amazing. Um, and I think that it, it lends a lot of credibility to the product. I think, um, you know, if you go to nine out of these 10, uh, either on-ramp or off-ramp uh, websites, <laughs> and you look at them and, you, you know, the, the trust level goes way down just based on even the design alone. Um, so you can see the care and the quality that we've even taken here to, to just take that to the next level, I think. And people are going to be very impressed that it's, it's, it's at par with what you'd find from a, a, a financial institution, you know, anywhere in the world, but, you know, a very high level, uh, one that's well funded and, and can hire very, very high level people like we have here, like with Mr. Alex and, and our designer as well. So. Yeah, I think it's it's coming along very nice, and you'll see the same quality with the with the on ramp as well. Brett, absolutely, it's going to come out. I think pretty amazing, and I think our community's gotten used to quality products and definitely some. Great design, some magic behind them. And the functionality is always important. So thank you, uh, Brett, for that update. And I think it's time we turn it over to the toad for the wheel of the toad, our very, very uh, important uh, part. I, was, I think I read you were going to have to extend today's uh, toad wheel for another 24 hours. There was an issue with the... Uh, the timing, it was, uh, it, sometimes it'll set itself to the next month. And then when I went to go change it, it changed the day before and closed the, closed the entries for a lot of people. So we only had about 25 people entered. I don't know if that's really fair. Yeah, let's keep it going for, for another 24. That's not a, yeah. that's not a big deal at all. Understandable. Get everyone in there. We're uh, going to catch up with our breathing session for Mondays. We're going to do it today. We have Coach 
Roberto here live. And uh, yeah, we, we we can't miss a week. We got to we got to stay on top of our of our you know breathing and resetting the buttons. Are you uh, ready, willing, and able, Coach Roberto? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm ready. He's like, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> 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 yeah, I kind of got away from us yesterday, buddy. So, uh, is, is Brandon here today? The, Brandon the Drip. So, so today we're gonna we're gonna discuss balanced breathing. You know, he talked about like he felt like all, all our breathing techniques we, we kind of breathe fast, you know. So, I, I wanted to bring a little balance into that into that conversation. And, and we can start off with the, the, tri the triangle breath is the way human beings should breathe, which means we inhale, we exhale with no pause. It's inhale, exhale, pause. So if we inhale for five seconds, we exhale for five seconds, and then we pause, and we can pause for five seconds. And, and that's the way that, that our bodies Babies, that's the, the way they breathe. So they inhale, exhale, pause. Inhale, exhale, pause. So, so it's kind of like a balance. You know, the triangle is balanced. So the act of breathing is creating a balance and interplay between energy and relaxation. So with every breath that we take, we're balancing our what they call neural endocrine, energetic, and psychological systems. Every inhale and exhale is balancing the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, the yin and the yang, the reason and the passion, the masculine and the feminine. So our whole an anatomy and the way we breathe is designed to create and maintain this balance. So by breathing consciously and playing around with certain parameters, we can reestablish balance. So it's energy and relaxation. So when we inhale, that's energy. When we exhale, it's relaxation. The sympathetic nervous system, which is like the, you know, the flight and you know, like the, uh, the, you know, like the high kind of nervous system. The opposite is parasympathetic, which is slow down and you know, and taking it easy. So there's upper breathing space and then relaxation. It's a lower breathing space. It's a fast rhythm of breathing is energy. The slow rhythm is relaxation. More energy is done breathing through the mouth and more relaxation is done through the nose. So the right nostril is more energy and the left nostril is more relaxation. So a good technique to establish this balance is called coherent, break, uh, coherent breathing. It's a breathing for like, we're gonna breathe for five seconds in or a count of five, and we're gonna breathe out for five seconds out. So you inhale for five, you exhale for five, then we're gonna pause, inhale for five, exhale for five. So we do that gently and continuously and consciously. So that, you know, that's, so that's what we're gonna practice. That's what we're gonna to practice today. And when we do that, the results of coherent breathing it's measurable changes in the cortisol levels, which are the stress hormones. It's in our heart rate, in the blood pressure, and our mood. Coherent breathing quickly and dramatically increases what we call the heart rate variability, which is, and the benefits of high HRV are all documented and you can read about. Uh, so this is, a, if you have a lot of stress and anxiety, this is a, a great breathing technique. Uh, for you to try. So, mistletoe, are you ready with the music? So, yes, sir. Uh, so everybody should sit down or maybe lay down, relax, just get ready. This is going to be more of a relaxation. We're going to do this for like 15 minutes and just enjoy it. Now, if you can't breathe in for five seconds, just, just breathe in for four seconds and then four seconds out or if you can't do four, just do three. So just gonna so everybody ready? And 
and you can follow the music and the music will help you breathe. So now we pause. So now we're going to inhale with the sound of OM. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. go. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. And just keep relaxing. Let it all go. Pause. Notice how you're feeling. Now we're going to inhale, oh. inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Now we're going to inhale again, inhale, oh. one, two. Pause. 
Notice how you're feeling. Keep relaxing. Stay with the breath. Oh. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Five. the hum and see if you can follow the hum the whole time. It's own. Oh. 
observing, notice the energy. Oh, 
Feel the energy, notice the light. We should be balanced a little bit more now. Keep observing how you're feeling. So the own sound is the original sound of creation. So we're all creating the new world in the ark. from the space pure energy pure love pure power pure light no fear just love Slowly come back, open your eyes if you were relaxing, breathing. Perhaps you're feeling a little different than 15 minutes ago. For those that did the breath, peace, balance. And for those that didn't breathe, please bounce. <laughs> I had a question. Oh, yeah, now let's get this crypto. <laughs> when, uh, when you were saying to pause, was, would, would you mean to like hold your breath or kind of like and relax or kind of just a cycle? Just like, it's like pause, relax. You can. You know, like hold your breath if you wanted to, or just breathe real soft to get ready for okay. the next breath. Okay. The, the idea is to be able to hold for five seconds, um, but that would have been too hard gotcha. today for most people. Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you. Any other questions or? Comments. That one definitely brought That's me good. to a Zen state. <laughs> Absolutely. It was a good good session, man. Wound up getting a lot of that uh, welding smoke out of my lungs, I think, with that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I noticed as as I was doing it, I was able to go from four seconds to five seconds, kind of halfway throughout. Yeah, yeah. The beginning is it's hard to take. You know, like you have to relax and be able to get to five. You know, five sec. When you do five seconds in, five seconds out, in a continuous way, you you you're taking like six breaths per minute. And when we do five, 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 that's like four breaths per minute. And that really brings you down, you know, like your whole nervous system. So I, I wanted, you know, Brandon wanted to like slow down. This is a breath you can do to slow down. <laughs> I definitely caught myself yawning once or twice. Oh yeah. It's going to help relax. If you do this like for 30 days, like, you know, five or 10 minutes, you know, like five minutes, you know, five, five minutes is like 30. We did 15, we did like 15 minutes. So that was, that was like, let's say, uh, it was about, if, if you do six, six breaths per minute, it would have been like 90 breaths, but we were really doing 15 seconds instead of 10 seconds per minute. So I don't know what the math is. You can figure that out, but it's probably like 60 breaths instead of 90 breaths. I didn't even realize we went for 15 minutes there, wow. Yeah, that, that, that's, that song is 15 minutes. I was lost in trance. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. And, and just notice how, how you you feel. But if you have high blood pressure and you have a lot of anxiety and all that, you practice this every day for like five minutes, let's say in the morning or five or maybe five minutes at night over 30 days, you're going to see your blood pressure just drop. I, I have high blood pressure, so I'll have to definitely start practicing this. Well. Yeah, and, and, and do more like a continuous breath, almost like five seconds in, five seconds out, and not hold for five, just kind of like pause, right. and then right. do five and five, right? And it'd be like six. Uh, if you do five seconds, five seconds, that's 10 seconds, right? There's 60 seconds, so that's six yeah. breaths per minute. Most of us are breathing like... Oh, probably over 20 breaths per minute. Between yeah, that's what 15, I was going to ask. Yeah, What's the yeah. average? Yeah. The average is like 13 to like 24 <laughs> or more. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we're like, you know, like short breaths. We're breathing fast. Yeah. And, that's why and, I was yawning. I wasn't getting enough oxygen. And what you want to do is you want to balance. You know, if, if you're like, uh, you know, you're taking it all day, stressed out, you need to balance your system. You don't need to, but it, it's going to be a how, you know, you're going to live longer. I wish I knew all these things in sales, so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's, you know, we're always learning, right? I 100%. learn every day with, with the breath is like. It's like art. You learn every day. Amen. And breath is the breath is a medicine. You know that's really what. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hold on. I'm having some. I've been trying to talk for a few minutes, but I'm having some issues here with the sound. Let me try this. We Mr. Hearing, Tony, huh? if if you yep. do just if you just follow the ohm and you ohm like I was doing, that that's a breathing technique. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll have to save that song and uh, definitely put it in my playlist. Yeah, like if you go ohm and be able to hold, you know, to the whole because it's about ten seconds, you know, like you have to right. Breathe. 
Yeah. Makes sense. Well, thank you, Coach. I appreciate that, as always. Yeah, you're welcome. What happened to our famous uh, captain? Is he still? I think, uh, yeah, I think he's having some issues. <laughs> <laughs> Just breathe, hermano. Just breathe. <laughs> Did anyone else do the breathing? Anyone else have any sensations or any comments? Everybody's down and out. Z might be uh, put to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Is uh, Did Atlas disappear too? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's having some issues. Oh, okay. Some audio issues. Maybe if we want to uh, close up the breathing session and uh, go over to the DeFi sessions. I don't know if Z is here. Yeah, he's looks like he's here. Z, are you uh, prepared to do the DeFi sessions? <laughs> he's like sold out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe could, they're, could maybe they're talking or... together. Oh, here he is. Like, <laughs> coach just put me to bed. This is the third time this has happened this month. Yeah, I, I did about half of it, but um, there's a, a forest fire up here. And wow. the wind kind of shifted and the smoke's kind of coming this direction. I'm like, yeah, last night I kind of started <laughs> getting a headache. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to really breathe this too heavily. Yeah. So I, I chilled out after a minute. Yeah, but um, they're supposedly doing a control burn. But <laughs> yeah. There's like tons of fire crews up here and they're like trying to burn a large swath of, and I think they're doing a lot of training and stuff too, but it's, it's pretty heavy where we are. So I'm just kind of keeping my breathing to the minimum. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. This is keep it minimum. Stay safe. Uh, Taylor went through something similar the last couple of weeks or last week or so. Um, so do you guys want a DeFi session? Should we look into the market a little bit or should we conclude it here? Can you guys hear me? Yep. We can yeah. Hear All right. Sorry. I'm audio issues here. Can you still hear me? We can hear you. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and release a Sparky first and then we move on to the DeFi sessions, if you don't mind. And thanks for your patience. Definitely having some issues here with the audio. So we had to reset a few things and change. So uh, we have it here, pretty much ready to go. Coach, if you could bring your screen down so the folks can see the Sparky. Greatly appreciate it, buddy. Great session. Thank you. And uh, I think uh, you folks know what to do if you want to win the Sparky tonight. It helps to to call it out. Hey, Sparky, come over here. Here we go, folks. The results of a master trader. Hold on. Come on, Sparky. Come here, boy.
Today's Spark Prize, their wallet ends in F63C. They've won 656.38 ARC. Pretty much the same street value on that. First time winner right into Nitro mode. The boost. 2% NDV all the way up. Their first time winner, our MVP for today. Their wallet ends in f 9A6, and they've taken down 72.93 ARC, also their Nitro Boost. Congratulations to both. And the MVP. Sheesh. All right. So now we're going to turn it over to our very own crypto DeFi expert, Mr. Z. Take us down the rabbit hole. Let us know what's happening. Uh, Getting big echo there. Go ahead, sir. Can you guys hear me just fine? Yep. All right, all right. Yeah, what a day. Great session with Coach Roberto. I did fall asleep until um, you guys texted me to wake up, so we're here. <laughs> happy. Normally, I'd say happy Mondays, but today is happy Tuesdays because we got happy coach um, and good vibes here. So, so yeah. Where is, uh, so I'm going to start off with, as I said, I think it's an important time to like look into Bitcoin, especially as, as sort of summer arrives and, and, and we sort of see the development and the fundamental news and, and, and we sort of count down this uh, election that happens in America. Uh, price currently is, uh, is at a range of 25 uh, to 26K. So since, uh, since the to- Coinbase uh, and, and Binance, uh, you can say suits were were alarmed. We have sort of dipped down. We were looking for a range between twenty six to twenty eight, but yeah. So, so, so the Coinbase and Binance uh, sort of issuance has brought us back the price of twenty five point eight k. And I think uh, I I have a feeling we stay at this price range for for a few more weeks until we uh, have conclusion on 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 the operations. So, so we know BAM trading and uh, and Binance US are seeking uh, for their assets to not to be not to be frozen. So we'll just cover that. But I think that goes for like a couple of weeks, and then and and then we sort of fall into the twenty three twenty two k region. I still feel uh, that according to market structure that we have to fall fall back down and and take uh, liquidity down here. So. So that's the pricing there. My sort of target right now is uh, 24K. Once we sort of touch 24K, I'll know more, uh, you can say, I'll, I'll have more indication that we are going for, for lower lows. But till then, we stay at a sideways range of 25 to 26K. So that's the charts there. Uh, now let's get into some fundamental news. I haven't got much, but uh, but these are key factors, especially with what's happening 
with the SEC. Uh, so yeah, SEC lawmakers invoke SEC lawsuits in uh, considering crypto regulatory framework. According to uh, Republican uh, uh, Representative Maxine Waters, granting crypto firms provisional registration under a pr- proposed framework could reward bad actors uh, with a get out of jail free card. So, so what's going on here is uh, is uh, is a bunch of uh, Republican senators and and have basically uh, come together and, and and basically they don't want the sort of crypto funds and the, the startups that have already have been been actively like working in DeFi to to, to stop uh, its uh, trades. So so they've they've uh, they want to like release a, a temporary framework to allow folks to continue working. And not be uh, sort of sanctioned uh, uh, with the SEC because they feel that the SEC, without any in, any jurisdiction, have just taken immediate effect, and 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 the Republicans, uh, sort of senators, they they fear uh, that the that, that the you can say uh, entrepreneurs or you can say the developers here are gonna uh, gonna stop working on 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 Web three here. So 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 this is their proposal. Uh, for a framework, a uh, temporary framework before we uh, really bring in uh, regulation. So in, in a June the 13th hearing, the committee ranking uh, member Maxine Waters said Democrats were taking a serious and thoughtful look at a proposed framework introduced by the Republicans on the regulations of digital assets. A committee chair, uh, Patrick McCurney, said he expected a bipartisan input on a draft bill with markups following a co- congressional recess in July. Uh, Water suggested that without extensive analysis and collaboration between the two political parties, this flaccid legislation could leave the door open for potential fraud and misuse. So, so, so basically, uh, the, the first sort of debate around uh, the, the, the 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 temporary framework is we don't want to give uh, bad actors uh, a chance to redeem themselves. Um, so, uh, so, so that's what uh, they said here. So, so, so a quote from Maxine. I'm particularly worried that the Republican bill would allow crypto firms that are currently being sued for violating our securities laws to continue doing business uh, uh, through provisional registration. The bill appears to halt any enforcement actions by the SEC against crypto firms, even when they have committed fraud. Uh, This provisional uh, registration could reward bad actors with a great out-of-jail free card and allow them to continue harming consumers and investors. So, so yeah, that's the uh, current uh, proposal right now for 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 basically firms that that are working in in crypto and in America. Uh, the American public was the one left holding the bag when it came to FTX and when it came to the violations or alleged violations when it comes to Binance and Coinbase. Uh, the best way forward is pretty clear and logical: is the application of federal securities laws through SEC. So, so yeah, this is something that's uh, that's developing right now in uh, in. in in, in, in sort of, uh, you can say, um, the, the the Senate in America, and they're trying to uh, bring a structure that's uh, that, that's viable, uh, whilst these sort of suits and stuff, like they they want they want to protect folks from 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 the SEC being, uh, uh, you know, targeting them and 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 halting their sort of um, you can say operations. So so this is pretty interesting. I'm I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on 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 this U.S. Committee and Senate. Uh, hearings to see how that develops. That's one thing. The other big thing is uh, that happened was Puma. So Puma uh, launched uh, their 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 Web three experience. Uh, so June the thirteenth, uh, German footwear conglomerate Puma launched its three D metaverse experience Black Station, as told by the developers. Black Station is an exper- uh, ex- experiential. Home for product drops build uh, built to provide unbridled access for Puma Pass uh, NFT holders. Uh, so, so they they've released a token called RB Token, which is pretty interesting. The firm says that the experience is for everyone to explore, but only those processing RB Tokens airdrop to Puma Pass holders can purchase additional rule breaker sneakers and claim due to digital uh, wearables at the time of uh, publication. RB Token currently have a price of one. One two cent, or like zero point zero one uh, two ether. Developer, if you do not, so 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 they so they've basically released their their metaverse. Let's quickly watch this um, uh, small little clip that they uh, tweeted out. So, 
So yeah, like this kind of gives me a preview of what uh, what future uh, e-commerce is going to be like, especially with these footwear sort of companies. Uh, you you have a sort of a metaverse al- aligned experience, and that's where you're able to purchase and, and they're going to use RB tokens and NFTs uh, for the purchases. So, so I'm looking forward to it. I might look into purchasing one of these uh, uh, footwears, <laughs> but yeah, if, if anyone wants to uh, like try out the experience, oh, it's like, yeah. What's up, Neto? Hey, is that, uh, this is so fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. The evolution of commerce. Um, are, is, are, is, is RB token going to be, used as like loyalty for discounts or actually because you're holding it or are you going to use that to actually purchase or something else uh i think it's going to be a mix of two things so you use rb tokens to 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 basically uh, participate in in liquidity pools for like new uh sort of uh you can say shoes coming out and i think the nft is uh is, is the main sort of purchasing parity they have but but you need rb tokens to purchase the nft it's a complete uh, Puma experience. Uh, let me see if I make this. Th- I can make this thing a full screen. So, so what you guys are seeing now is is like a full screen experience of thing. I haven't got my mouse. I'm using a MacBook right now, but uh, where you can basically uh, start to experience a little bit. You can go into this, and then it sort of it asks you what floor you want to go to. And then you can go and and look to purchase. Uh, RB uh, RB tokens and, and and use them in this in this metaverse. You can connect your wallet very very soon. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let me see if I can get any get this lift working. I was I was having struggles like get this lift working, but but yeah, that, that that's a small sort of experience. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think this is the future of uh, commerce. I think um, when Puma sort of uh, released their dot ETH address, I knew they were working on something. I knew there was something in the background, and I think. Uh, this is how uh, sort of Nike, uh, Samsung went through a similar thing, uh, previewing their their new TV sets and uh, and stuff in, in their metaverse uh, store. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops. But yeah, it's uh like the, the the big conglomerates are coming in, guys. Like like this is this is a new e-commerce experience. It's going to be done on Ethereum. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but apart from that, the majority. But but do you do you see the majority going to Poly like based on how we 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 discussed other major brands are as well or is it oh yeah not necessarily oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think for now uh, as Polygon zk EVM gets uh, sort of its distribution channels fixed they have a few more hard forks to go through in the meantime I think Puma and and, and, and Samsung and, and these folks work through um, through Ethereum. And then I think uh, as uh, as the KEVM goes through the second hard fork, I, I think that happens in August. Then we have sort of Walgreens and, and all these sort of attributes, all these different uh, shops and and commerce outlets uh, start to like trade and, and, and launch the metaverses. I think it's going to be a, a metaverse experience more like. So we'll see how that plays out. That's actually interesting because I'm sure you look at the chart, it's pretty beat. So that's after the hard fork you think then the adoption will will pick up right with the other brands and therefore potentially uh poly as well yeah yeah i think uh i i think it would still take like a big sort of you can say a, a lucky's or a walmart or one of these outlets to really bring adoption because, because they have i think uh, close to 50 to 100 million customers that that sort of use their outlets on a daily basis for, for grocery. I think that would really push the adoption of it. You're, you're talking about the big adoption thing, but I still feel like uh, this is, this is in the next couple of years, we're going to start to buy our branded uh, products through uh, things like Luxo or things like, uh, like, like the Puma black station store and then the Samsung uh, sort of experience. So I think uh, we're seeing right now, we're seeing a preview of, of what's uh, what's upcoming, but but do I see all this trading happening on Ethereum? I don't because of the gas fee and, and that issue. But I think with uh, with, with ZK EVM's hard forks uh, coming up, I think then we, we start to see adoption of, of commerce. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. We'll see how this develops. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking to buy one of these uh, shoes on the metaverse. 
Yeah, that that's exciting. So the, the uh, August is the last fourth part, or is it going to be later as well? Up till now, I think August is a hard fork. I forgot the name of it. Uh, we'll we'll cover it. In fact, this week, I think it's important. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense for luxury goods and premium things like this. Uh, Porsche Design has a partnership. They used to have Adidas, and then they now partner with Puma. Uh, I saw some of their products. It's pretty cool, and it would be neat to check because they very their their quality right and the experience makes sense. But to do mainstream. I mean, I don't know. Uh, the wallet holders of ETH and Poly are not necessarily the everyday user, right? For Walmart, as opposed to luxury brands, right? So it'll it's a big step for them to embrace it, right? Like a major uh, retail. So there's a few yeah. steps in the on, along the way. Uh, would you agree? I I think adoption happens when you start to give discounts. When you start to like sort of allow for a, I think that's how. Uh, sort of a bunch of other things happen in DeFi because you get a discounted factor from using crypto. Yeah. So what, I think what, we'll prob- what we'll probably start to see is um, custodial wallets being used to start off with. And uh, the stores themselves will actually offer that custodial wallet. You know, when they sign up, the person will just get one. They won't even know that they're using crypto or, you know, to be involved in that. They'll just make their purchase price and everything will be transacted through that custodial wallet. I had a, a friend who told me that if, uh, like, this is when Trump's election was happening, the second term. They said when, when he basically, uh, if, if he was to be elected at that time, uh, he would have given every single business a custodial wallet. And, and and that's where the transactions start to happen. And then you have the fiat on-ramp and off-ramps. Uh, so we could have yeah. had this uh, three, four years ago. This was, uh, no, it was in a rumor. This is confirmed by his uh, party. They were going to do this. Yeah, they, they it'll basically be done through an email and a password and probably 2A authentication. Um, you know, there'll be private keys for those custodial wallets, but the end user probably won't even use them. They'll just sign in the same way they do their bank account, and it'll be using the same kind of securities that we see for, you know, online banking. To start off with, anyway, I believe that's the way it'll go. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I think I think it's I think that's where like mass adoption happens on two ways. You give people purchasing parity on 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 on, on outlets and goods and grocery and, and the regular things, and then you also have the gamers. I think the gamers uh, also also bring in a, 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 another set of utility. I think PlayStation and Xbox have a combined sort of 300 to 400 million users. Uh, so that's what DeFi needs. DeFi needs a push of like, uh, uh, you can say, that billion sort of folks adoption. And, and then you have real uh, utility. So we'll, we'll cover these things. But I'm, I'm super excited with, uh, with what Puma have here. <laughs> So I'll, I'll let you guys know more about that experience. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I have to conclude the several meetings now. But thank you so much. Thank you for the DeFi sessions, Mr. Z. Pretty cool to see the uh, Puma metaverse. They've been building. And there's going to be so much more to come. So many more brands. They're uh, definitely not going to stop. So, folks, we want to thank everybody for coming out today to the podcast. Congratulations to our first-time Spark Reward winner. They got their Nitro Mode boost going in. Shout out also to the MVP. Thank you to the folks that are listening to the podcast. Hopefully, you're doing it over on YouTube. We, uh, for the first time, have chapters in uh, well on yesterday's videos. Uh, they were done today. I'm not sure if they're done exactly as we want. It was the first time that uh, that was processed. I, could, I need to go and review the work and and uh, give my notes, see if it's up to par and how we want to create those chapters. So all of the folks that are listening to the podcast are able to find exactly the part of it that they wish as it is a bit long. So we'll uh, keep updating that and hope that you make the best of it. We're going to be back tomorrow, folks. Same time. 
4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. UTC. We'll stick around here for a little bit Q&A, make sure if anybody has any questions or comments, we'll make sure to answer that for you. Wish you a wonderful rest of your morning, rest of your evening, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care.